Monday, May 20th, 2024, regular meeting of the Gardner City Council will come to order. The clerk will please call the roll. Councilor Brooks. Present. Councilor Craig Cormier. Present. Councilor Darren Lowitz. Present. Councilor Hardern. Present. Councilor Heath. Present. Councilor Heglin. Present. Councilor Mack. Present. Councilor Thibault Munoz. Present. Councilor Tissoni. Present. Councilor Tyros. Present. And President Kaczynski. Present. Please rise to recite the opening prayer and say the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Almighty God, we thank thee for bringing us together this evening, inspire us to worthy deeds and sound decisions, and direct us towards the attainment of good city government. We pray thee to bless and protect all the people of our city, and to survive and inspire us that we may deliberate in unity and harmony. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll begin with the reading and approval of the March 4th, 2024 regular meeting minutes. Councilor Tyros. Thank you, Madam President. I'd like to make a motion that we waive the reading of March 4th, 2024's regular meeting minutes and accept them as presented. Second. Second. Motion made by Councilor Tyra, second by Councilor Heath to waive the reading of the minutes and accept them as presented. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 As opposed say no. Motion passes. At this time, I'm going to take item 11278. It's on page four of our council agenda. Take that out of order. Madam President. Item 11278. Excuse me. Madam petition. President, did, did you read the open meeting? Oh, excuse me, thank you. Open meeting recording notice. Any person may make a video or audio recording of an open session of a meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium subject to reasonable requirements of the chair as to the number, placement, and operation of equipment used so as not to interfere with the conduct of the meeting. Any person intending to make such recording shall notify the chair forthwith. All documents and exhibits used or referenced at the meeting must be submitted in duplicate to the chair as they become part of the meeting minutes pursuant to general law, chapter 30A, subsection 20. Is anyone here recording tonight's meeting? No person recording. Please state your name and address for the record. You know what? Please state your name and address for the record. There's a microphone right there. Paul DeMeo, 9 Willis Road. Thank you. So everything that you record needs to be submitted to the clerk after the meeting, according to the law. Thank you. Item 11278, a petition by National Grid, Parker Street, to install duct bank across Parker Street from 29 Parker Street to 2 Parker Street. Councilor Tassoni. Madam President, uh, per our communication from National Grid, I'd like to withdraw this from the calendar. Uh, withdraw this, um, remove this from the calendar. Second. Motion made by Councilor Gisoni, seconded by Councilor Tyros to remove the item from the calendar. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes. Communications from the mayor. Communications, item 11282. A communication from the mayor regarding item 11232, a resolution relating to the future of Helen May Sauter School, and item number 11279, a resolution relating to the future of Stonefield. Councilor Mack? I make a motion that we place this communication on file. Second. Motion made by Councilor Mack, seconded by Councilor General Lutz to place the communication on file. Is there a discussion on the motion? Madam President. Councilor Tyros? Thank you. The last line of the solicitor's letter in our packet states that the school committee should consult its own legal counsel. I find this troubling and confusing as he is the city's solicitor. I'd like to move to amend the motion to include a request to the law department for an opinion as to which city departments the city solicitor represents, which he does not, and an explanation for each as well. Second. Motion made by Councilor Tyra, seconded by Councilor Dernalowitz. We will take a vote on the motion as amended. Is there a discussion on the motion? Councilor Heglin. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I appreciate the amendment. I think it's a, a valid one for us to make. Um, you know, as the sponsor of these two resolutions, it's good that we're finding these things out. I know that there um, was some issue with the deed just indicating to us that in perpetuity it is for school uses, so it, it's good we're finding these things out ahead of time. However, I just want to also add and, and make sure that we stress to the city 
um, and that we as city officials make sure we still um, with the mayor and the, as the city council are exploring options in the meantime so that these you know two properties don't continue to fall into further disrepair so that while we seek these legal opinions and, and further information hopefully we can still get our ad hoc committee set up uh, and the city can look at options both for school uses and or um, private uses so thank you that is all thank you counselor further discussion on the amended motion Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, just to, uh, to provide further information to the City Council on the letter that was presented, um, while the Council, uh, the motion has been amended to request that opinion of the City Solicitor, uh, the School Department has contracted with the services of Attorney uh, Christine Tree to provide a uh, opinion to the City to show what options are available for the City, if there's any way out of the deed restrictions that are there, if the deed restrictions are permanent, uh, if so, what the impacts of that are in a long-term plan. Uh, so that report will be coming out forward soon um, once Attorney Tree is able to complete that review of all the re relevant documents. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Further discussion on the motion? Council Tyros. Thank you, Madam President. Just to be clear, Mr. Mayor, that uh, Attorney Tree would be considered outside counsel. Madam President. Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much. That is true. Attorney Tree would be outside counsel, paid for out of the city's outside counsel line item. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mayor. Council Mack. Where would the funds for uh, to pay Attorney Tree come from? Is, is that a question? A question for the mayor. If, to the, the chair. chair. Mr. Mayor. Uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, since it's something being done through the auspices of the school committee, under the, uh, the school department under the auspices of the school committee, be the school department's professional services line item in the uh, budget. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Further questions? And um, further discussion on the amended motion? This is on the amended motion. All those in favor say aye. 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 As opposed to say no. No. <clears throat> One no. If uh, anyone who voted no, please raise your left hand. Left hand. Okay. No. Okay. 10 yeas, one no, motion passes. Item 11283, the measure authorizing an intermunicipal agreement between the City of Gardner and the Town of Princeton for Veteran Services, FY 2025 to FY 2027. Councilor Mack. Thank you, Madam President. This is to continue the intermunicipal uh, agreement with the Town of Princeton for Veteran Services with a three-year schedule um, in attached in our packet is the fee for services over the three years. The Finance Committee was in favor and I move the order. Second. Motion made by Councilor Max, seconded by Councilor General Lowitz to approve the authorization. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 As opposed, say no. The motion passes. Before we go on to the next page, I'm just going to go up to public hearings as uh, item 11278, we did remove it from the calendar. I just want to acknowledge that item 11278 was the subject of a public hearing this evening, but since it was removed from the calendar, we will not be having a public hearing because there is no item to have a public hearing on, just to be sure that information is clear for the public. If the item were to be resubmitted, then at that point, we would have to motion to schedule a public hearing and have a public hearing at that time. Um, but it was removed from the calendar, so there is no need for a public hearing. Item 11284, a measure authorizing an intermunicipal agreement between the City of Gardner and the Town of Ashburnham for Animal Control Services, FY 2025 to FY 2027. Councilor Mack. Thank you, Madam President. Um, this order is to continue the intermunicipal agreement between the City of Gardner and the Town of Ashburnham for Animal Control Services until 2027. In the agreement is the percentage of cost um, with the increasing fee for the three years of service. The Finance Committee was in favor and I move the order. Second. Motion made by Councilor Max, seconded by Councilor General Lowitz to approve the authorization. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes. <coughs> Item 11290, a communication from the mayor regarding the collective bargaining agreement between the City of Gardner and the Massachusetts Coalition of Police, Mass Cop, Local 400, Superior Offices Union. Councilor Mack. Uh, I make a motion to place this communication on file. Second. Motion made by Councillor Mack, seconded by Councillor General Lowitz to place the communication on file. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Motion passes. Orders, item 11285, an order appropriating $5,000 from free cash to the Council on Aging, Repairs and Maintenance Expense Account. Councillor General Lowitz. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, in the early 2000s, holes were cut in the walls for AC units in the uh, McKeon building. These have since been replaced, uh, the units themselves, with mini splits. However, this appropriation covers the proper repair of those holes to prevent 
uh, any further damage from the weather. Finance committee was in favor, and I move the order. Second. Motion made by Councillor General Louds, seconded by Councillor Mack to adopt the order. Is there a discussion on the motion? We'll take a roll call vote on this item. The clerk will please call the roll. Councillor Brooks? Yes. Councillor Craig Cormier? Yes. Councillor General Lowitz? Yes. Councillor Hardern? Yes. Councillor Heath? Yes. Councillor Heglin? Yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Thibault Munoz? Yes. Councillor Tissoni? Yes. Councillor Tyros? Yes. And President Kaczynski? Yes. 11 yeas. 11 yeas. The motion passes. Item 11286, an order appropriating $30,000 from free cash to the mayor's unclassified S. Graves versus city lawsuit expense account. Councilor General Lowitz. Thank you again, Madam President. The Finance Committee did meet on this item. However, uh, we did ask for a breakdown of these costs. Um, that is still being compiled at this time, so we would uh, ask for more time. Second. Motion made by Councilor General Lowitz, seconded by Councilor Heath um, to ask for more time. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 As opposed to say no. Motion passes. Ordinances. Item 11287, in order to amend the Code of the City of Gardner, Chapter 171, <coughs> thereof entitled Personnel, to change the compensation schedule exhibited Exhibit E, non union personnel. Councilor General Alex? Thank you, Madam President. These are related to our budget. Um, we would ask for uh, more time on this item. There is no objection. The committee will be granted more time. The uh, Councilor. Question, question, have they been referred to the Finance Committee already? They uh, have. This, this item has been. Yeah, we did okay. meet them. This one Thank is already you. in committee. Yep. Thank you. Um, if there's no objection, the committee will be granted more time. <clears throat> the committee will be granted more time. <clears throat> item 11289, an ordinance to amend the Code of the City of Gardner, Part 1, thereof, entitled Administrative Legislation. Councilor General Alex? And as the Finance Committee has not yet met on this, I'd like to refer it to the committee for further study and report. Second. Motion made by Councillor General Lott, seconded by Councillor Mack to refer the item to the Finance Committee for further study and report. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes. Petitions, applications, communications, etc. Item 11291, an open meeting law complaint filed by Paul DeMeo regarding executive session meetings. Councillor Tyros? Thank you, Madam President. I move to authorize the Council President to respond on behalf of the Council that the executive sessions listed in the complaint we're in compliance with Mass General Law. Second. Motion made by Councilor Tyra, seconded by Councilor Dern Alawitz, to authorize the City Council President to respond on behalf of the Council, stating that the executive sessions listed in the complaint were held in compliance with the law. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes. Reports of Standing Committees, Finance Committee, Item 11256, <coughs> a resolution to rename the City Council Chamber, the Ronald F. Cormier Council Chamber. Councilor Mack? Uh, the committee requests more time. If there is no objection, the committee will be granted more time. The committee will be granted more time. Item 11272, a measure establishing a special purpose schools reserve stabilization fund under Mass General Law, Chapter 40, Section 5B. Councilor Mack? Yes, this measure um, would establish a special purpose uh, school reservation stab stabilization fund as allowed under Mass General Law. This fund would allow the mayor to put money in from free cash into a reserved account to plan ahead for such expenses as special education, transportation, and other mandatory costs that arise annually and are required. Uh, the committee was in favor, so I move the order. Second. Motion made by Councilor Max, seconded by Councilor General Louts to adopt the measure. Is there a discussion on the motion? Madam President, I'm just going to recuse myself from this matter as a school employee. Thank you, Councilor Hagelin. Councilor Tyros? Thank you, Madam President. Uh, earlier this evening, we did receive a presentation from Superintendent Pellegrino, Dr. Pellegrino, and I believe that this is a great initiative. He's done a fantastic job, and the mayor has supported his endeavors and uh, support the Finance Committee in uh, this measure. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Further discussion on the motion? Councilor Tassoni? Through, through the chair um, to the Finance Committee, um, I, will this impact any special uh, circuit breaker or any of the funding that we currently get um, for special ed and transportation through the chair? From the Finance Committee? Councilor General Lowe? Did you, I guess the question, are you asking where the funding will come from to fund no, this? No, the question would be will it have an impact no, it, it, it would. This wouldn't impact. So it's an addition. Yeah, to it, it's an addition to, um, in what a stabilization fund would be. For example, um, uh, uh, 
Uh, the school department just went to the city auditor. They were looking for some extra money this spring to add a bus because the buses are too full. Um, but there was no additional fund to do that. It was an additional, I believe, $100,000. So having such a stabilization <coughs> fund, not only for special ed, but for other transportation, it, we, if they had the fund in this fund account, we would be able to have to been able to give it to them. Thank you. Through the chair, did, did my question was more geared to our, our reimbursement uh, percentage that we get on a yearly basis through Circuit Breaker, whether or not that it would impact the percentage um, that the city of Gardner gets with having uh, additional funds. I, and I apologize, you probably should have asked this sooner, um, but just the impact on the percentage on a year, to, and which fluctuates year to year. Through, through the chair, this fund is not just solely for, to fund transportation, it's to fund other, it, it, other things. So um, I, I, I can't speak to whether it would fund, it would it affect the circuit breaker, but it's not solely just for special ed transportation. Thank you, Councilor. Madam President. The, Councillor Brooks, I was I was going to say from my <coughs> excuse me from my experience, this money would be going to stabilization fund, not to the school budget. If we were putting this money toward the school budget, there could be an impact. In this case, it's going to a stabilization fund, like a savings account, and it's right. it's not counting. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Councillor. Thank you, Councillor. For the discussion on the item. This is on the motion to adopt the measure. All those in favor say aye. Aye. As opposed say no. Motion passes with 10 days. <coughs> Item 11273, a measure to establish a special purpose capital projects reserve stabilization account under Mass General Law Chapter 40, Section 5B. Councilor Matt. Thank you, Council President. This measure would also be like creating a, a special purpose stabilization fund, AKA like a savings account um, for our capital improvement projects. Um, so out of free cash, the mayor would be able to allocate money there for our, we all seen the capital improvement list. We have many much needed projects on that list. For example, the salt shed that we just recently voted the, um, <coughs> to, to purchase. Had we had a stabilization fund, we would have been able to take the money out of that and not um, directly out of a free cash out of the time. So this would offset the cost of, of many needed projects. The finance committee was in favor, and I move the order. Second. Motion made by Councilor Mack, second by Councilor Dernalotis to adopt the order. Is there a discussion on the motion? Councilor Tyros? Thank you, Madam President. As one of the council's representatives on the Capital Improvements Committee, I fully um, uh, support this. Uh, measure there's a long list of capital improvement projects that the city just hasn't gone to because the fu funding was not there um, things things like the salt shed that came up things like painting the siding on the uh, outdoor pools uh, buildings things like uh, making the bathrooms more ADA and, and modern in City Hall and other buildings and roofs and such nature um, this is a, a great thing to establish and it'll, it'll allow that committee to make some good decisions on improvements in our community Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes. Mm -hmm. Item 11270, an order transferring $10,000 from city clerk department salaries and wages to election and registration professional services operating expenditures. Councillor Matt? Yes, uh, the city clerk requested that this transfer from salary and wages um, to the elections and salary operating expenditure um, and the finance committee was in favor, and I move the order. Second. Motion made by Councillor Mack, seconded by Councillor General Lowitz to adopt the order. Is there a discussion on the motion? This item and the next three items require a roll call vote. The clerk will please call the roll. Councillor Brooks? Yes. Councillor Craig Cormier? Yes. Councillor General Lowitz? Yes. Councillor Hardern? Yes. Councillor Heath? Yes. Councillor Hagland? Yes. Councillor Mack? Yes. Councillor Thibault Minos? Yes. yes. Council Tassoni? Yes. Council Tyros? Yes. And President Dickinson? Yes. 11 yeas. 11 yeas. The motion passes. Item 11271, an order transferring $16,200 from human resources, salaries, and wages to operating expenditures. Councilor General Lowitz? Thank you, Madam President. Similar to the previous one, this is a transfer from within the budget from salary to operating expenses. Uh, this is to cover consulting services from the former HR director as well as uh, flexible spending account um, costs. Finance Committee was in favor, and I move the order. Second. Motion made by Councilor General Lott, seconded by Councilor Tyros. 
to adopt the order. Is there a discussion on the motion? The clerk will please call the roll. Councilor Brooks? Yes. Councilor Craig Cormier? Yes. Councilor General Lowitz? Yes. Councilor Hardern? Yes. Councilor Heath? Yes. Councilor Heglin? Yes. Councilor Math? Yes. Councilor Thibault Munoz? Yes. Councilor Tissoni? Yes. Councilor Tyros? Yes. And President Kaziskis? Yes. 11 yeas. 11 yeas, the motion passes. Item 11277, in order transferring $30,000 from Mayor Department Executive Aid Salaries to Mayor Unclassified Department Operating Expenditure. Councilor Dernalowitz. Thank you, Madam President. Again, this is a transfer from salary uh, to the um, operating expenditures for the Mayor's uh, Department. The Executive Aid position was empty for some time. Uh, these funds were used for the one-time costs um, $25,000 for a new phone system in the building, uh, and the remainder of the funds, $5,000, were used for capital, the uh, capital improvement account. Finance committee was in favor, and I move to pass the order. Second. Motion made by Councilor Dunlop, seconded by Councilor Heath to adopt the order. Is there a discussion on the motion? The clerk will please call the roll. Councilor Brooks? Yes. Councilor Craig Cormier? Yes. Councilor Dunlop? Lowitz? Yes. Councilor Hardern? Yes. Councilor Heath? Yes. Councilor Heglin? Yes. Councilor Mack? Yes. Councilor Thibault Munoz? Yes. Councilor Tissoni? Yes. Councilor Tyros? Yes. And President Kaczynski? Yes. 11 yeas. 11 yeas, the motion passes. Item 11281, an order transferring $9,500 from Health Department salaries and wages to Health Department operating expenditures. Councilor General Lowitz? Thank you, Madam President. Uh, this. There was a vacancy in the, this again is a transfer salary and wages uh, to operating expenditures. There was a vacancy in the food inspector role, which we created, created this excess salary line item. These funds were used to cover expenses under the professional services and professional uh, development. The finance committee was in favor, and I move to pass the order. Motion made. Second. Motion made by Councilor General Lowitz, seconded by Councilor Tyros to adopt the order. Is there discussion on the motion? The clerk will please call the roll. Uh, Councilor Brooks? Yes. Councilor Craig Cormier? Yes. Councilor General Lowitz? Yes. Councilor Hardern? Yes. Councilor Heath? Yes. Councilor Heglin? Yes. Councilor Mack? Yes. Councilor Thibault Munoz? Yes. Councilor Tissoni? Yes. Councilor Tyros? Yes. And President Kaczynski? Yes. 11 yeas. 11 yeas. <coughs> the motion passes. <coughs> Item 11275, an ordinance to amend the code of the City of Gardner, Chapter 560 thereof, entitled Solid Waste to change the fee for solid waste collection. Councilor Dernalowitz. Thank you again, Madam President. This uh, ordinance amendment was recommended by the Health Director, DPW Director, and City Auditor. This will increase the cost for solid waste collection by $15 a year through fiscal year 2028. Uh, this increase is due to the projections made by the aforementioned city employees and will allow for continued trash, ser trash service for the city. The Finance Committee was in favor and I move to send the ordinance to first printing. Second. Motion made by Councilor General Lott, seconded by Councilor Mack to send the item to first printing. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes. <coughs> Appointments to <coughs> item 11139, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Robert Tez to the position of planning board member for term expiring January 4th, 2027. Councilor Tyros. Thank you, Madam President. The Appointments Committee would like to take this item 11139, 11140, 11141, 11255, and respectfully request more time. If there is no objection, the committee will be granted more time for item 11139, 11140, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Robert Schwartz to the position of planning board member for term expiring January 4th, 2027. Item 11141, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Stephen Cormier to the position of planning board member for term expiring January 4th, 2027. And item 11255, a measure confirming the mayor's appointment of Vincent Pusateri to the position of assistant city solicitor for term expiring January 1st, 2025. Seeing there is no objection, the committee will be granted more time. Question. Excuse me. On, um, there's, no, there's no public comment. There's no public first, question. Well, okay. okay. You have okay. a wrong name done. It could be me or it could be my father. With this ending, we can discuss at the end of the meeting, but right now Thank we you. can't disrupt the business of the meeting. Thank you. Safety Committee, item 11086, an ordinance to amend the code of the City of Gardner, Chapter 600, entitled, I'm going to take a brief recess.
the back door. Item 11086, an ordinance to amend the Code of the City of Gardner, Chapter 600, entitled Vehicles and Traffic, Section 24, entitled Parking Prohibitor on Certain Streets, <coughs> Home Street. Councilor Craig Cormier. Yes, thank you, Madam President. This item is already at first printing, and we still have had no negative feedback, so I therefore move to send the item to second and final printing. Second. Motion made by Councilor Cormier, seconded by Councilor Tipo Munoz. Send the item to second and final printing. Is there discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes. Item 11115, an ordinance to amend the Code of the City of Gardner, Chapter 600, entitled Vehicles and Traffic, Section 24, entitled Parking Prohibited on Certain Streets, Douglas Road. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, on items 11115 and 11204, both of these are in trial periods with the police department and the DPW right now, and I therefore ask for more time on both of these items. If there is no objection, the committee will be granted more time on item 11115 and item 11204, an ordinance to amend the Code of the City of Gardner, Chapter 600, entitled Vehicles and Traffic, Section 24, entitled Parking Prohibited on Certain Streets, Etchell Street from Elm Street to Lawrence Street. Seeing that there is no objection, the committee will be granted more time. Welfare Committee, item 11211, an ordinance to amend the Code of the City of Gardner to add a new Chapter 15 to be entitled Agricultural Commission. <coughs> Councilor Mack? Um, the committee uh, respectfully asked for more time. We're still waiting for information from a couple department heads. If there is no objection, the committee will be granted more time. The committee will be granted more time. Item 11276, an ordinance to amend Section 4 of Chapter 182 of the Code of the City of Gardner, thereof entitled Zoning Board of Appeals, to increase the number of members from 3 to 5. Councillor Mack? Uh, the Welfare Committee met on this item prior to this meeting. The, this ordinance would increase the board membership from 3 to 5 members. Many, many other municipalities um, in the Commonwealth have a Zoning Board of Appeal of 5 members. With the increasing need of the, of the committee, um, with the amount of local businesses, com uh, businesses coming into Gardner. Um, this would uh, uh, allow them to have a quorum to meet and a majority vote not be needing to be unanimous as right now that it has to be with only three members, which is required under the laws of the Commonwealth. Um, also in the letter from the mayor, it states that this will change the ZBA <coughs> under a zoning ordinance, chapter 675, under the Mass General uh, Law Code 41, Section 81Z. Um, the vote would require a two-thirds majority, four out of five members, to, to pass um, any item before them. The committee was in favor, so I move the order to first printing. Second. Motion made by Councillor Mack, seconded by Councillor General Outs to send the item to first printing. Is there a discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes. Service Committee, item 11278. We voted previously tonight on this item and it was removed from the calendar. Committee of the Whole, item 11260, a notification from the mayor regarding the submission of the FY 2025 school department budget. Councilor Tyros. Thank you, Madam President. Earlier this evening, we met and discussed the school department budget. Therefore, I move to place this item on file. Second. Motion made by Councilor Tyros, second by Councilor Dernalowitz to place the item on file. Is there a discussion on the motion? Madam President. Councilor Tsoni? Yes, I, I, I would like to commend the school department and um, the school committee for put, presenting um, a level budget for this uh, next year. However, when listening and from a funding perspective um, for the following year, FY26, um, we're going to have to continue to plan ahead because from <laughs> my calculations, just off the top of my head, we're going to be about $1.2 million short. Um, so um, I just want to commend them uh, for this upcoming year, and uh, let's get creative in the next year. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Tsoni. Further discussion on the motion? <coughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say no. The motion passes. Item 11261, a measure authorizing FY 2025 revolving funds for the city pursuant to Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 44, Section 53E and a half. Councilor General Lowitz. Thank you, Madam President. I'd like to take this item and 11262, 11263, 11264, 11265, 11266, 11267, 11268, and 11269 together and ask for more time. 
If there is no objection, the committee will the committee of the whole will be granted more time for items 11261, 11262 in order to raise an appropriate the sum of $13,665,414.45 for the various departments of the city for the salary and labor budget for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2024 and ending July 30th, 2025. Item 11263, in order to raise and appropriate the sum of $27,036,114.27 for the various departments of the city for the expense budget for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2024 and ending July 30th, 2025. Item 11264, in order appropriating the sum of $34,212,226 for the school department budget for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2024 and ending June 30th, 2025. Item 11265, in order appropriating the sum of $201,162.73 from available funds, cable commission fees reserved to cable commission budget for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2024 and ending June 30th, 2025. Item 11266, in order appropriating the sum of $10,819,080 from available enterprise funds, Various receipts reserved to various enterprise accounts for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2024 and ending June 30th, 2025. Item 11267, in order appropriating the sum of $170,000 from available funds. Bond proceeds reserved to interest outside debt for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2024 and ending July, June 30th, 2025. Item 11268, in order authorizing a transfer of the sum of $322,709.43 from sewer retained earnings surplus to fund the FY 2025 revenue budget. And item 11269, in order authorizing the transfer of the sum of $93,687 from landfill retained earnings slash surplus to fund the FY 2025 revenue budget. Seeing as there is no objection, the committee will be granted. There are no, <coughs> there is no unfinished business and matters for reconsideration. There is no new business, council comments and remarks. So there are any council comments and remarks? Mm -hmm. Council Tyros? Thank you, Madam President. I would like to briefly acknowledge a great moment of community excellence which occurred yesterday at the Acadian Social Club Scholarship Awards Ceremony, where five area, local area high school students were awarded significant scholarships in pursuit of higher education. Since 2020, the Acadian Social Club has distributed over $23,000 in scholarships to local students with funds primarily raised from its membership and the generosity of local businesses during its French Open golf tournament. It is a great example of the importance and pride the Gardner community has in supporting our students with the wide array of scholarships which help make an increasingly unaffordable college experience more attainable. I know I am still grateful for the scholarships this community provided me when I was that age, and I wish the best of luck to the three future nurses, the future physical therapist, and the future engineer, and hope that you come back to the Gardner area and continue to make this community a great place to call home. Thank you, Councillor. Further council comments and remarks? Councillor Heath? Uh, thank you, Madam President. I just want to go ahead and recognize um, it was order 11277. Mm -hmm. um, I think it just kind of went over some people's heads on the fact that um, the old HR director you know, was still, after retiring, was still able to make sure that we were in good hands, working with the transition and things as such. So I just want to go ahead and acknowledge her for that right there because that was a nice effort. That is all. Thank, Thank you, you. Councilor Heath. Further discussion? Councilor Mack? Um, I just have a couple things. I just want to, all the area graduates in the next couple of weeks, congratulate them as they um, approach their final you know, days in, in celebration of their upcoming high school graduation. Um, and I just want to acknowledge next week, uh, Gardner High School will be having their senior awards assembly, and this is something that's near and dear to my heart as I worked there for over 30 years and can tell you that next Thursday over um, close to three quarters of a million dollars in scholarships will be awarded to Gardner High School graduates. Um, so for Gardner being a blue collar community, we have very generous um, people from the past and the present that give um, their hardworking money uh, to fund the future of our students, and um, it cannot go without being recognized. And um, I just want to honor all of those who serve this upcoming Memorial Day weekend. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Councilor Mack. Further council comments and remarks? Councilor Craig Corman? Uh, yes, I'd just like to uh, extend a thank you to all of the city officials and department heads uh, that were able to take a few moments today to help continue the student government program that uh, was very near and dear to Councilor Cormier's heart um, for so many years. Uh, we are doing our best to keep this program going in his memory and in his honor, and I appreciate all of the uh, the support that we've had in that. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Craig Cormier. Just more 
Any further council comments and remarks? I will entertain a motion on the floor to adjourn after the closing prayer. So moved. So moved. Second. Second. Motion made by Councillor Sony, seconded by Councillor Mack to adjourn after the closing prayer. All those in favor say aye. 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 As opposed to say no. Motion passes. Almighty Father, Father who sees so over all, as, as we adjourn, we thank you for the opportunity to join deliberation and action to administer in the course of this, course of this meeting. meeting. Bless the Lord, all who are gathered here, and the people whose representatives we are, and do thou attend to our common welfare until our next meeting. Amen. Meeting stands adjourned. Thank you, everyone.